All right. I uh, hope my wind chimes don't make too much noise, but uh, I I like to hear them. <laughs> and as long as I hear them, I know there's a breeze out here. <laughs> so I just, well, I think I'm going to make this a short video. First off, as every day, I'm asking prayers for Summer Wells and for all the other children that are missing right now. There's so many of them. Uh, but we need to keep praying for her and we need to keep praying that she is found. Anyway, the other thing though that I'm going to talk about, and this is something totally away, but I need to get away because Little Summer's situation has just taken over me, and I, I need to step away for a minute because I can't think of anything else. So, what I want to talk about is, okay, you all tell me, too. I, I want comments from you of things that has happened to you that is out of the ordinary. Um... I'll give you three things, which I have several others, but three things in particular that happened to me and, it, it, you know, just out of the ordinary. Uh, the first one, my kids and I, we were driving down the road. We were in Noble, Louisiana at the time, and I saw the rainbow from a distance just admire them because I, I think rainbows are so beautiful. They're a promise, you know, they're a promise. And I went to turn to go into Noble, and right there, right there was the end of the rainbow. <laughs> My kids are like, Mama, look, we're right there at the end of the rainbow. And as we drove through it, because that's what I felt we did, there was such a sensation that you had. I mean, myself and my children alike, my two kids, they felt it just like I did. It was just a, an overwhelming sensation to be driving right through the end of the rainbow. Unfortunately, there was not a pot of gold. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it was nice to think there is, though, you know. But uh, that was one of my... Actually, that was my first, my very first that I could think of sensation that I had, experience that I had with something that doesn't happen every day. My second one, that was in, actually, that was in California. And we lived in, um, oh God, can you think of Sage, Sage, California. Right on the mountain. Actually, we were on top of that little mountain. And I'm coming down because I was going to work. And ahead of me, I saw this dish-like formation in the sky. And I'm looking at it. I'm driving. And, you know, this is like ant roads, you know, <laughs> mountainous roads. And it was weird, but it gave me a weird sensation also. It was like, it wasn't moving. It was just hovering this was broad daylight this was in the morning and I told my friend I said look look at that and no longer did I turn around to look back at it gone just gone it could have been a UFO I don't know I know one thing it was an unidentified flying object that I can tell you I have never seen anything like that before and it was really, it was like, wow, what am I looking at? Oh my God. Not still even up to now, I don't know what I saw, but I thought I felt what I saw, but I don't know for a fact. My third experience, which I just thought about another one, but I might and might not say, but my third one, was I was living in Nevada, and I believe it was August. 
I was camping out near the hot springs and I had a pickup at the time and with a camper on it and uh, I had put the yeah I had put it down <laughs> mine goes blank but I was sitting there and uh, I heard something go and I'm looking up and right above me you could I could hear it I could hear the sound but I could see the fire and it was a meteorite so close I mean I saw the fire coming from it. that's how close it was and it just and I just wanted to go chase and find it but of course I didn't but that was that was I was in awe to see anything like that I mean I have been outside at nights looking for meteorites. I never see them. That one day, it just happened, and it was right there above me, right close to me, and it was an awesome, awesome feeling and sensation to experience something like that. But, uh, it, it, you know, so many things in our lives sometimes happens to us, and we still can't find an answer to it. It's like, did this really happen? I mean, did I really experience something like that? But yet, you know you did, and you know the sensation that it gave you, but you it's kind of unbelievable. I'm sure something like that has happened to some of you, probably all of you at one point or another. And... Uh, I'd like to know what happened to you. What did, what unusual thing has happened to you that you can remember so vividly like it's still happening? Because basically I can do that. I can still feel it. I can still visualize like it's happening right now. So let me know in your comments. Let me know. And... Let us all stay in prayer. You know, it's not so hard to say, Lord, be with Summer. Lord, bring Summer home. Not that many words, but you got to feel it. Don't just let it be words. Feel it. Really feel it. So... I'm going to stop right now because I will not stop if I don't stop right now. <laughs> I really won't. I told myself I wasn't going to go into this, but I can't help it. But anyway, guys, until tomorrow, and it may be late because I'll be going to church, but uh, God bless you. Take care. And... Let's all keep each other's in prayer. Each other's. God bless you. Peace.